I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll try to understand the concepts for creating new functions from old functions. Well, there are three different ways in which this can be done. Whenever you transform a function, you get a new function. You can combine two or more functions to get a new function or we can have a composition of functions to create a new function. I'll take up examples of all the three kinds so that we understand what and how to create new functions. So for transformations, let's take an example of function, let us say f of x equals to square root of x, right? Now square root of x, you could always uh, sketch this as a function whose domain is greater than or equal to zero, and it's kind of like this. That is square root of x. Now we could transform this function and then create other functions. Let us say we could have g of x equals to uh, square root of x minus 1. In that case, it moves one unit to the right. And if I write, uh, let us say, let me keep it like this only. Uh, then in that case, we could have a function which will be this function transformed one unit to the right, right? So this where that is 1, correct? So that becomes g of x. You can see they are very similar, but they are different functions. So you could create a new function from the old by transformation. Uh, interesting case for transformation could be a function like, uh, let me take another example. Let us say we have ux as equal to, to x squared minus 1. So let me sketch this function and then we'll uh, have a transformation of this function and write it also. So ux equals to x squared 1, you could sketch this function as a parabola, which is shifted one unit down, right? So that becomes ux equals to x squared plus 1. Now how about transforming this function, creating a new function with absolute value of ux? Absolute value of ux, and let me call this function as v of x, right? So that becomes my transformed function. So absolute values also change the functions drastically. And if you do this transformation, what you will get is absolute means always positive. So this portion becomes kind of like this, right? So the function which you have now is this. Do you see that? So that is how we get a new function by transforming the old function, right? Now let's look into the combination ways of uh, creating new functions, correct? So I hope this part of transformations and creating new functions is clear to you. These are standard transformations. We could have done vertical, horizontal stretches and compressions, reflections on x, y axis and so on. And we could also use the absolute function to transform our function, right? So, so that's a good example. Now, let me take few examples for combination of function. So let's take uh, uh, the parabola which we took just now. So let's take a function which is, let us say, u of x equals to x squared. Now this is a parabola and it could be combined with some other function. Uh, so let us take another function which is, uh, let us say, v of x equals to uh, just 2x. So we could have a combination of functions saying w of x is some of these two, that is, uh, it is u of x plus v of x, combination of these two, which will basically mean a function will be x squared plus 2x. So that is a new function which we have got by combining two functions, right? Now, if you want to sketch this function, how will that look like? So let me sketch that uh, here, the combination of these functions. So. So the first function, which is uh, u of x equals to x squared, is kind of like this, right? And the second function, which is uh, uh, which is two uh, x, is a straight line, uh, which will kind of go go kind of like this with a slope of two, right? So that will be that will be two x. How about the w x, which is combination of these two? Well, we could always sketch this by finding zeros. So let's do a little bit of math here. If I take x common, I get x plus two. 
So that means there are two zeros, one at zero, the other one is at two, right? So this other one is at two. And so a separable is still, which will have its minimum value at, uh, this is minus two, at minus one. If I write minus one here, let me write, W of minus minus one will be what? So it'll be uh, minus one times minus one plus two, uh, which is which is minus one, right? So so we get a parabola, which is going to be uh, kind of like this. So let me sketch this one here. Let me do it small portion of this. Okay, so something like this, right? So we are not very sure about other parts, but this too, is, we are clear about it. So what we get as a result is a combination of these two. So the idea here is that you could make combinations from existing functions by the operations like you could perform addition, you could do subtraction, you can do multiplication or division. So all these operations can help you get a new function from existing functions. You could also combine the same function, function by itself, to create a new function. That is also possible right so that is how you could create new functions from old functions i hope the concept is clear to you remember one thing here that these operations of plus and mi minus are always done on common domains so in this case both functions uh, have x belongs to real number as their domain there was no restriction uh, so we could do it on on all values of x but it is important to understand that this operation can only be done in common domain. Okay, so that's one thing. Now let's move on to the third way of creating new functions from old functions. In these list of videos, you'll find a lot of examples uh, for transformation, combination, and composition, which you could explore and understand this topic in further details, right? Uh, let's take our function square root function let's say f of x equals to square root of x and let me take uh, the other function which we are working on is uh, u of x okay u of x equals to x square now think about a combination of these two in a different way that is we compose one function uh, from the other uh, by uh, an operation which is kind of like this we say f of u of x right kind of like this so this kind of an operation is composition of functions so it literally means that uh, f of what is u of x u of x is x squared so we'll change this with x squared right and f of x is square root of x so what we get here is square root of x squared do you see that this is what we get now that becomes a new function, which is f of u of x, right? So let's call this function as, let's say capital F, okay? So we have new function capital F, which is equals to f of u of x, that is f of x squared. Now a new function is composed of the two which we began with, do you see that? And it is capital F is equals to, so we have a new function here, which is square root of x squared. Now the question for you is to sketch this function here and figure out what this really function is and can you find its domain and range? That is interesting. Now absolute value of x square root, oh the square root of x squared is actually equals to absolute value of x and when you sketch it as expected from this function you will get an output which is like absolute function, right? So this is what you create as function of function in this particular example. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you find it interesting and this is kind of very simple introduction to creating new functions from the old ones. Remember, there are three different ways, transformations, combinations, and compositions. You can look into my videos on these three topics and explore further. Feel free to share your questions and of course, you can always share my videos. Thank you and all the best.